Yo, what's up, party people? YouTube out there, how's it going? This is Joe Johnson, 030 here. Um, you know, subbing in for Sam. Um, you know, uh, going through a couple of things right now, so he won't be able to do the review, or he hasn't been able to watch the episode of The Legends of Tomorrow uh, Part 2. So, I'm here, I'm subbing in for him, um, and you know, you know, putting in work for the channel. Um, but, um, this, so hopefully you guys had a chance, um, you've watched maybe the, uh, the non-spoiler discussion that I did. Um, if not, you know, that's still okay. Um, this here is going to be the spoiler section. So here we're going to talk about and we're going to discuss, you know, what actually went down and all the nitty gritty, uh, things that, you know, this episode took place in this episode. So, um, so, I mean, starting this episode, I mean, there's, a you know, there's a fight sequence in the uh, compound where the team has to pretty much dis try to disarm or remove this, uh, uh, nuclear weapon, um, or nuclear, yeah, nuclear warhead that's about to blow up. So, I mean, and there's just like tons of dudes in there, man, and you get to see the team just tear these guys up, um, which is really entertaining. Um, what I thought was really cool, I mean, you see, like, Firestorm, um, in order to stop that blast, he has to absorb it. So, that was just crazy. I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. Not only that, but during this episode, you know, the special effects were pretty much on point. I thought they were for being a TV series, you know. This is pretty good special effects. Um, and so, yeah, you have Captain Cold's uh, brother in the mix, you know, with his flame gun or whatever, doing his thing. I thought that was a nice touch. Um, but moving forward, progressing forward. So, you know, so the Adam, he accidentally, during the battle, during this fight in the compound, he actually drops, drops a part of his tech, which uh, falls in the hands of savage scientists. So what they're trying to do, they're trying to reverse engineer that technology. Um, and then the team gets wind that if they're successful in doing this, yes, that would mean the end of, you know, Star City. Um, and pretty much it will change the future like for everybody. So, so what they have to do, they have to not only locate this team of scientists that's trying to reverse engineer this, but they have to stop them. Now, the technology to track this has not yet been made, so they have to find the professor at a younger age without messing up his timeline. And not only that, but they also find this, get catch wind of this dagger that could potentially kill Savage. Um, and they kind of split up the team into different uh, parties to handle both of these tasks simultaneously. So, I mean, the episode was just great. I think, for me, uh, Captain Cole is probably, I mean, he's probably my favorite character. Um, and see him function with Adam because they were teamed up to uh, find the dagger. Uh, that was probably my favorite part of the episode just because they didn't really, they got in themselves, um, uh, what, they have alerted the pretty much the security teams multiple times in their pursuit of this deck. So that was pretty funny. Um, and not only that, but um, there's actually a lot of good dialogue concerning um, the professor's character and then his younger self because he's looking at his younger self and he's like, a lot of those qualities he still sees, a lot of his negative qualities at that age he still sees himself that day at his age um him being his elder years so um he's saying do people really change that was his big struggle or uh thing he's going dealing with through this entire episode until the end of the episode you can see like um that there's some great dialogue uh that it was said that you know people uh ultimately they stay the same people don't change um no, he said time changes, but people don't change. Um, and kind of like, because that same day, uh, the professor met his wife. 
So I thought that was pretty good. You have to. I'm kind of like I don't know, kind of like breaking this up out of context. But if you watch the episode, you know exactly what I mean. Um, it's really well, really well put together. Um, but knowing that, um, so I, I would have to talk about uh, Hot Girl and the fact that um, she's mortally wounded after this episode and only that but you know uh her husband or you know the uh her counterpart uh the gentleman i forgot his name but um he's actually he's actually dead uh he gets killed in this episode so i was like wow um i was like wow i was not expecting that um but i kind of was sensing that um his character really wasn't on like the permanent roster uh starting this show so i i didn't i didn't even expect him in the show so when i seen him i kind of i was like when it, when he died i was like okay it kind of makes sense now um but it was a tragic loss because hot girl she didn't really know her feelings towards him at this point, just because uh, she didn't like the idea of her fate being decided. But when he, you know, got killed or whatever, it was revealed. Like, she actually was in love with him. Um, or she reacted in that way. And, man, she did some good acting. So, hats off to her. Um, overall, man, I'll probably have to give this episode. I've rated this episode an 8 out of 10. Um, it was a really good episode, really solid, really strong episode. A lot of action, a lot of good stuff, a lot of good meat, a lot of dialogue. That was really good. So overall, I give it an 8 out of 10. Um, but yeah, that's all for the spoiler review. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, and concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And we'll get to you. Um, stay, uh, stay tuned for more content coming out. Um, as we review more shows and TV shows and things like that and movies. Uh, but you guys take it easy. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna get off this camera, relax, probably fix some food or whatever. Um, but you guys have a go. Take it easy. Um, you know, spend time with your families. You know, I'll be blessed. All right, I'm out.